Sorry, just a minute. I mean, excuse me, I, you know, I may be being a wally or something, but you, can you possibly explain to me what a dole queue in Peckham has got to do with the Spanish Civil War? I'm building up to it, Del. <laughs> Having a conversation with him is like a slow death, isn't it? <laughs> One day, me and my mate Nobby Clark, we decided we had just about enough of it, so we ran off to join the Foreign Legion. The Foreign Legion? You don't mean the British Legion? <laughs> <laughs> the French Foreign Legion. Camels and forts, you know. So we hitchhiked to Southampton. Ah, th that's where their headquarters was? No! That's where we tried to get on board a boat. Well, eventually we stowed away on a tramp steamer. We hid under the tarpaulin in the lifeboat. But, oh, the voyage was terrible. There were storms and gales. <laughs> Us trotters have never made good sailors. Now, Nobby was... He was all right on the water. I think it come from the time when he was a caretaker at a seaman's mission in Grimsby. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. I, I don't want to worry you, you know, but our plane leaves in three days. What happened in Spain? Well, I'm just coming to it. Oh, now, where was I? You and the fisherman's friend were under a tarpaulin in the lifeboat. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, when the ship finally docked, guess where we was? Spain. Spain. No. <laughs> Tangiers. Granddad, is it worth me making any plans for my future? <laughs> I mean, what's all this got to do with a foreign legion? Well, Tangiers was one of their main bases, wasn't it? You see, any normal person who wanted to join the French Foreign Legion would have gone to France, wouldn't they? Not him, no. Well, we jumped ship and made our way to their barracks. Oh, when we got there, we couldn't believe our eyes. They was the biggest band of cutthroats and villains and murderers you could ever hope to see. They was the scum of the earth. Well, so you didn't join? We tried, but they wouldn't have us. <laughs> Well, now me and Nobby was in dead lumber. We had no money, we had nowhere to sleep, and we was a thousand miles from home. But then we had a bit of luck. Well, it was more a quirk of fate, really. We bumped into an Arab, and he offered us a job. He said he'd pay us to take his motor launch over to the Spanish coast and deliver a cargo. What sort of cargo? Gun. <laughs> Guns? You mean you were gun running in the middle of a civil war? Well, that's the best time to do it, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty little mercenary. Oh, we didn't do it purely for financial gain. Oh, no, we both felt a deep commitment to a political cause. Which side were you selling to? Well, whichever side had the most money. <laughs> Bloody hell. No, no, it's, it's all right, Roddy. No, I mean, you know, a conscience is nice, but business is business, right? Well, it was after the seventh trip when it happened. <laughs> <laughs> there was government troops laying in wait for us. They arrested us and they took us to this little prison outside a town called Tarifa. They took Nobby away and tortured him. You could hear his screams echoing through the night. Woke you up at one point, didn't it? <laughs> the last thing on my mind was sleep, Rodney. But no matter what they'd done to him, Nobby wouldn't say a word. I bet he didn't even have his Caledon Bowser to suck, did he? <laughs> <laughs> then it were my turn. They, they tortured you? No. But they would have done if I hadn't told them everything I knew. <laughs> 